Ladies and gentlemen, happy Saturday to your faces. Hopefully, you're all having a great start to your weekend. And if you're watching this in the future, happy episode number nine of ten, ladies and gentlemen, of my GTA Online Beginner's Guide for 2024. Now, don't worry. I know what a lot of people are thinking. You know, you said at the beginning of this guide, you're going to do this guide until you hit 50 million. Now, listen, I'm going to try to get 50 million. But I do promise the last episode, episode 10, we're going to go all out. I'm going to spend hours on episode 10. So it may come out. It's probably not going to be next weekend, to be honest with you. It'll probably be a weekend after. So it's probably going to be a couple weeks until episode 10 comes out. Or maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, it is episode number nine. Like I say, we have two businesses left I want to buy. I talked about last week, which is the arcade and the agency. Now, the arcade is more of just just because... Uh, so we'll buy that at the end of this whole series, just because there's no reason for me to get it, other than the fact that I like spawn in there. I like the garage. I like to be able to modify cars there. I just like it as my spawn location. But what we do need to buy for our final business here today is obviously the agency. All right, guys. So first things first, you can see we're here. But what are we doing here? Well, look at how much money we've got. 1.1. You know what? Let's put it all in the bank. So deposit that. Yes. Okay. Now we can see we have $1.3 million. Now, the reason this is an issue is if we go into Dynasty Executive right here and look at the agencies. Now, I'm probably not going to get the most expensive like I have in my PC account, which is this one right here, 2.8 million. We're actually going to go for the cheapest, which is going to be this one right here at $2 million. Now, obviously, there's none up north, so this is going to be the cheapest for us. And I need a little bit of money. So what we're here to do is we're starting off here because in this video, if I haven't mentioned already, uh, this is a beginner's guide, like I say, but obviously making money is our most important goal. Um, we need to sell some of this in a public lobby, basically. And then we're going to buy the agency. We're going to do the Dre missions and end this with a million. So first things first, before I even sell, I'm actually going to boost acid production. And you're probably thinking, why are you doing that? This thing's full because we're going to sell it right now. And I want to make sure we're not wasting any time and it's starting to fill back up again immediately. So what we're going to do is register as a boss. That's good enough for me. We're now the boss of whatever this is. And then we'll speak to more and we'll ask him to buy supplies. Yep. So now this is going to speed up, but we need to hurry up here and sell in this public lobby. So anyway, we're in a public lobby. Like I say, all we need to do is sell this and we should be able to afford the agency. So fingers crossed. Uh, this goes exactly as planned. So let's go ahead and just sell it. I'm not even looking. I'm risking it for a biscuit. I know that there's enough people in this lobby, so we shouldn't have to worry. But it's, I haven't, I've gone against my own rule here, which is to check and make sure there's no bad guys knocking about. Okay, so we're going to the fool's door. Okay, we're just going to go straight there. All right, here we are coming into the drop off. I've never taken that long in my life, by the way, to take out cops, like, I, or to lose them. That was just brutal. Like, they, I just felt like they just wouldn't leave me alone. I'd go underground and then they'd all of a sudden just show up underground with me. Like, it's just a mess. All right, well, let's just get out of the area, see how much money we got. Like I say, we are in a, in a lobby. It's technically 22 people in here now. There was 28 earlier, but it's fine. We should still have enough. See, we've got the... Uh, he's got the supplies there too. So 527,000. That should be enough. Or are we off by like 50? Let's have a look. 1.8. Hmm. We need 2 mil or 200,000. You know, we could do it the easy way. You know what? Since this lobby doesn't seem too bad, we're going to grab our sparrow and we're going to head on over to our bunker. We should have enough in there to sell, I'm thinking. So let's go check it out. All right. So let's see. We should have enough. We should. We need like, what? 200k. That should, we should have enough for 200k, surely. 75. Like, what is happening, man? I need to buy supplies, but then if I buy supplies, then I'm going to be down another 60k. So I'm just going to sell this in a public lobby, see how much we get for it. The, the smart thing for me to do at this point, by the way, would be to just do a KO Perico. It'll literally take me like 35, 40 minutes to complete from start to finish and would get like a million. All right, so this should be just one cell vehicle. And even if we get taken out by some like griefers, I don't care because it's not that much money. All right, so there we go, 150,000. Now, how much money do we have? We're so close. The reason we didn't get enough money for that, we would have been there. But you can see 13 people in the lobby. We had a full lobby. So unfortunately, we weren't able to make the bonuses that we should have got because everyone just started leaving. So this is a stinker of a lobby. So we're actually going to leave this. So if you don't know, like I say, even if you're just starting out, this is a beginner's guide. Um, the shipwrecks, right now, they, they're double money or triple money. But you can come to these every single day um, that they're, they'll just be knocking about in a different location every single day. Now, uh, okay, there's the treasure chest. That's what you're going to be looking for. And as soon as you get close enough to it, 
you can go ahead and open it and boom there we go 75,000 and we've got the frontier outfit yay and now we should have enough money to purchase this badger yeah yeah we do all right ladies and gentlemen finally we are purchasing our agency now we're not going to upgrade anything in here um the accommodation you kind of want but i don't think we can afford it right now no we can't so we'll, we'll have to get that again a different time um but we're not going to be doing anything other than just buying it for right now maybe once we've done the dre mission we'll upgrade it but for right now we can literally just afford it and there we have it ladies and gentlemen finally we have the agency i say finally you've got to keep in mind we're on episode nine that means this entire thing you've been watching this beginner's guide has taken us nine days i haven't been playing in between what you see is what's happening i'm literally recording as i'm playing it i'm not playing it like off car, offline or anything like that so it's taken us nine days to get to this point not bad so the obviously there's no need to buy shark cards is basically what i'm saying okay let's head on over to our agency and get this thing started up so i'm gonna skip through these cutscenes. what's up chop i'm gonna skip through these cutscenes because we've all seen these and if you haven't you can watch through it yourself all right so obviously you've all done this part we need to log in do a few vip um or not vip sorry a few security contracts before we can get the vip stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this uh real quick and i'll come back to you guys when we can actually start up the dre missions all right here we are at the clubhouse let's go ahead and start this thing up dre mission ladies and gentlemen i don't have any armor or anything this is quite a, quite a mess but it is what it is i mean once you've you only do this once the first time you don't do this once you replay the game you don't get this part so you're only gonna get this once i mean this is all gonna just be some dialogue and stuff so we'll skip through this part because either you've seen it already or you want to experience it yourself all right now is the fun part we get to chase them down all right oh Let's chase some time. How do I hit the one post, man? The one post. And then we miss him. This game does it on purpose, I'm telling you. All right, we got to ram the better than this, though. Because, I mean, this is pathetic. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, we're leaving you alone. You can catch up to us. We're going for this guy. I feel like we need a head-on collision. With the white one. There it is. That is it. See the speed that we did that? All right, now we know. It's head-on collision. That's what we want to do. Let's go get this other one. Where is he? There he bloody is. I mean, it's okay. All right, now we just got to follow him. So this part is very fun. Said nobody ever. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Come here, you. Sorry, dude. Better come on. I'll keep whacking. You gonna tell us what we want to hear? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so there's that one done. At least we're making a little bit of money here doing these. So we should, you know, not that we need money at this point, but it's nice. All right, so the agency has been set up now that we've completed those little missions there. So since this is a beginner's guide, I feel like it can't just be me doing a playthrough. I feel like I should give you guys some tips and tricks. So that's what we're going to be doing here, I feel like, for this one. So I'll just walk you through how I do it, show you things that are interesting to me and things that I feel like could speed it up for you. So let's go ahead and first time logging into this computer. Well, naturally, no, but first time with the VIP contract. Um, the thing is, when you do it for the first time, it's going to take a while. Just because you have to go like this, I can't skip anything. You just got to listen to them waffle for a little bit. But if you've never done it, it's good to hear the story anyway. But then also, even in between missions, the first time you do it, you got to do a mission, then you got to wait for a phone call and all that stuff. And then you got to do it. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Let's speed this part up so she finishes just... All right, so first of all, we got to do the setup, which is data recovery. So let's just go ahead and do this one. This one's quite boring, and there's a lot of shooting going on. Make sure you have health and armor or snacks and armor. I don't have armor. But I do have snacks, so we should be okay. All right, here we are at the roof. It's just a, it's a mess. You're going to have to... Be, let's just just land here on the roof anywhere you want. It's annoying, though, because you have to listen. Like I was saying, it just takes... The first time you do it, it's so boring. Well, no, if you want to listen to the story, the first time is great. But if you've done it a million times like I have, and I'm having to do this again for the first time, it's just a long day. But anyway, just do it with confidence. Make sure you have your weapon out. And we're going to be heading into... Where's the door? Is the one back here? And then you got to blow it up. All right, door's blown up. I, I know the door's not just going to sit in the doorway like this, right? 
I know this isn't happening. This is ridiculous. Rockstar! You're killing me! What if I put another one and then blow that up? Will it move the door? Nope. Alright, we jumped in anyway. I don't think we're going to be able to jump out. Maybe we will. Alright, let's get to this computer. Alright, installation complete. You have as much time as you want. I'm going to go around here and just fend off some of these guys. How about that? <sighs> just a lot. Just sit. I could have swore that it was like a hot mess of just shooting. But if you're lucky like me this time, you can just sit back and relax. You get one guy coming every now and then. Just take him out. Sit back and relax. All right, steal the hard drive. I'll we'll do that. If I can get back in this room with a, a, an incredible door. Rockstar's genius uh, right here. Let's explode this door and then not be able to get in. Ow, get up. All right, come on. Up on. This is, this is fantastic. All right, now we just got to exit, which seems like an easy task. It is easy. Come on. We're, we're, we could do this easy. If I could do it, you could do it. Let's just get out of here. There's going to be a lot of fighting on the roof. That's for sure. All right. At this point, you just got to lose the cops. We're going to try and get up onto the roof here so that we can grab our helicopter. Again, make sure you got snacks and armor. Don't be like me and just have snacks. You are 100. Oh, look at that. Almost dead. You are 100% going to want to make sure you have snacks and armor. Oh, those, those guys are going to shoot at me immediately. Yeah, look at the smoke coming off this thing, man. All right, let's just get out of here. Hopefully, we can lose these cops. Can we make it back before it dies? That is the million-dollar question. We're right here. Remember when I crashed straight into the agency? <laughs> I do it so much, man. I'm so used to the Kasaka where if you fly, no matter what speed you're going, if you fly low enough to the helipad, you can enter the Kasaka. And I tried doing it so many times with the agency, and I just crashed straight into the nice. bloody building. All right, so mission passed, phone data recovered. So at this point, you'll notice if you come over here to your PC and sit down, you'll see the first time you do it, you can't just move on to the second one like you can if you've had the game for a while or if you've been playing it for a while. The first time you do it, you actually have to go and exit the building and wait for him to call you. Him being Franklin. So if you're newer to the game and this is a beginner's guide for you and you're like, why can't I, uh, why can't I do it? What I would recommend is just come upstairs to the top Go ahead and grab all your free snacks. Can't actually go in here because we haven't purchased it. That's where I would usually go. Or I'd usually go right into that building or that room right there and grab some armor. But we haven't upgraded yet because we're still poor. So we're just going to run all the way downstairs to the elevator and leave. And then Franklin will call us. You can just wait literally right outside. It'll take probably like a minute. Agency call. Hey, other boss. So don't worry though, once you've completed this once, like the, the whole uh, agency missions, the Dre missions, you won't have to go through this, you don't have to go outside, wait, all of that. It's only the first time you do it. And now you just go straight back in again, and then just run upstairs to your office, log into your computer, and you'll see a VIP contract is now available. So these are the contracts we're going to be doing here today. Um, and payment, obviously, you can see down there is a million, so let's go ahead and do Nightlife Leaks. So like I say, we're going to do a Nightlife Leak, but you can do these in any order you want to. Investigation, the nightclub. All right, it's just a mile away, so I'm just going to go ahead and drive to it. All right, and here we are. So this one, there's no need to make it any more difficult than it is, right? It's not it's not that difficult a mission. Just make sure, like I say, snacks, armor, ammo, all of that sort of stuff. I don't have any um, snacks on me. Oh, sorry, any armor on me. So we're just going to do this how we want to do it. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're just going to... Take out him. They got uh, these two right here. And then take out this guy. I was going to say, that better not have triggered any alarms. There's no one bloody down here, man. All right, let's take out this guy. All right, and then... And it doesn't matter if you trigger any alarms, by the way. Like, it really doesn't matter. We'll probably end up doing it in this video here. Yes, if I'm right... So we did... I mean, that guy got triggered, but that was stupid, though. That was just because he bloody... Uh, he shot at the wall. But as you can see, super easy. We're literally just going to run and grab this thing out of the office here. One more guy. And then we're just going to leave. So there we go. Grabbed that. I don't think... Yeah, you can't get out that way. Leave the nightclub. We're going to leave the same way. Can you go down? Nope, can't use the elevator. So I forget. I forget. So we're just going to go out the exact same way we came in. Um, so we'll just go down the staircase here, to the left, to the left, and we're going out the same way. There's no point, if you go, like, out the front door, you're just gonna come into uh, more people, so you may as well just go out the same way you came in, 
and it'll just make your life a little bit easier. All right, and just like that, we are back here at our agency. That literally, I don't know, it felt like it was five minutes. It was super quick, super easy, in, out, done. All right, now, just like the last ones, once you've completed this mission, you can't just go to your PC and start up the next one. Let me show you. You can see right here, it won't let you start anything. It says you can only, uh, Franklin will be in touch, basically. So every time for the first time you do this, once you've completed it, just go outside. And then you're just going to wait right here until they call, like I say, about 30 seconds. All right, there's the phone call. Let's get back in. All right, next up, the marina. Let's start it up. All right, so for this one, we're going to use our Sparrow just to get over there a little bit faster. And if you've been following along this series, you 100% should have one of these by now. Let's get in there and head on over to the marina. All right, so here we are at the marina. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know, but if you are newer to the game, you clearly don't know. Uh, we'll just take out these guards. And then you don't even need to take the boat and steal it. What you're going to want to do is find the green boat, which is actually this one right here. Let's ignore that security guard. So if you get inside of it, it should trigger where we need to go. So you'll see right now, it'll say, okay, head over to blah, blah, blah. Well, you just listen to her talk. You can get out of it. We're actually going to get back into our helicopter. Now, here's the thing. If you have an oppressor, you can do this a little bit more stealthy. Um, but obviously, we're doing it in our helicopter right here, not an oppressor. We don't own one yet. So you just got to be careful. You don't want to get blown up. So just head on over to the question mark you can see on your mini map. All right. And there she is. And you're probably going to get taken out by the anti-air thing. So if we stay under the radar here, I'm just going to try taking some people out like right away, right? Just so it's less people for us to take out. We will probably get blown up here in a second, uh, but the more the merrier, you know what I mean? So just start spamming your missiles. If you die, you'll just respawn down on the ground, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, if you do die like I just did, it's fine. You're just going to spawn in a thing not too far away from it. Just go ahead, get straight on up to it. Where, what are you jumping on? What are you jumping on there, my guy? I hate the swimming mechanics in GTA 5, man. I say it all the time, but it's bloody awful. I hope 6 is better. Okay, so now we're on board the ship. Let's just go ahead, head straight up to the main cabin, take any people out along the way if we need to, but we should have taken out the majority of them. All right, go up to the bridge. You got it. Yeah, look at all these people. They're all goners, man. They're all goners. Look at all these. They're all gone. Is there anyone left or did we, man did we manage to get them all, man? Easy. Okay, there probably will be a few people in here, but that is fine. Excuse me, Captain. I need to locate the door controls. Unlock the main cabin. So it's going to be this one here on the left-hand side to unlock the main cabin. And then behind you there should be the one that takes out the air defense. Disable air defense. Not that we really need it, but if there's a helicopter out there when we leave, we'll take it. But I think we blew it up, so we won't probably be using this anyway. All right, now we just need to go down to the cabins. Take out a few more people down here. Be very careful. We're going to check upstairs here first. Urgh, I forgot about this guy. Because it, most of the time it's up here. Take him out. It's usually right over here. None of these ones, though. Go figure. So if it's not up here, that's fine. It's just going to be one of the cabins downstairs. So we just go back down here and then just check all the cabins. Make sure you take these guys out. Ooh, almost died there. Ah, excuse me, sir. You can't be sitting in the toilet while I'm doing this. You know what I mean? There you go. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. You can see the picture of Dre right there. So pull out your phone. Take a little picture. And there we go. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. All right, now, typically, the times I've done this, we have lots of, you know, well, when I say lots of, we have our railgun and stuff like that. We don't have it because we're a lower level player. So we're just going to take these guys out the old fashioned way. Excuse me, sir. Ah, screw them. They're over there. We'll just try and outrun them in this thing. Since we died and spawned over here, we should be good enough just to go to the beach and the mission will be done. All right, there you go. Mission pass, 10,000. Again, usually what I would do right now is just go in by only lobby and then spawn in the agency. But I haven't purchased the agency uh, bedroom yet, though. If you've done that, that's what I would recommend doing. But since I don't have it, we're just going to drive on over or fly on over, I should say. All right, the finale of the first section here. So nightlife leak. Let's go ahead, purchase some heavy armor and some ammo since I don't have any. It's just confirmed. That's good enough for me. Closed. Yes, please. Let's go ahead. And start this thing up. All right, let's head on over to the casino and I'll meet you guys when we get there. All right, so we're here at the casino. Let's uh, let's get this thing ready to rock and roll. So we purchased ammo and armor and stuff like that, but I don't I didn't have any more armor other than that. Um, so that should show you as a new level player. We're only, what, like a level 32 or something like that? Um, if I can do this, you guys can do it too. All right, let's run to the penthouse. Oop. All right, let's head on in. All right, at this point, as it says on the screen, you just got to find the promoter. All right, so you're just going to go all the way in until you get to the DJ booth, essentially. And you can't run, unfortunately. You can only walk this speed. 
Uh, okay, here we go. As soon as we get here, you just grab the equipment. And then stuff's going to hit the fan. All right, switch to our weapon. Let's take out these guys. Again, we're not going to worry about it too much. Chase the promoter. We're just going to run towards the exit while taking everyone out along the way. All right, leave the penthouse with pleasure. Just make sure you're reloaded. And then we're just going to take out all the people and head towards the elevator. Uh, like I say, these guys aren't super strong. But if they start like this guy right here, hiding behind the wall, it can be very annoying. Yeah, you know, the worst is these guys with the little arms. You see the little, like, T-Rex arms sticking out the corner. Bogo off! We're not scared of your little T-Rex arms. Anyway, make your way over to the, uh, to the elevator. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. All of you guys are very annoying. Will you bogo off? I mean... All right, once everyone's taken out, we're just going to head on into the elevator. Again, I don't think any of the Dre missions are that difficult, obviously. What am I? Am I sitting on the floor? Am I taking a dump? Like, am I establishing a peak corner? What's happening there? Uh, obviously, the first time you do it, it's going to be difficult because you're not going to know what to expect. Uh, but obviously, if you're watching these videos, you get... you're going to be a pro at it. Look at shotguns, man. Shotguns, absolutely mental. Where's the shotgunner? Was it you, the guy I was even shooting at? It's you! You're the one that killed me! I was like, where is this invisible shotgun, man? All right, then we're just going to head on to the VIP area where he's going to be hiding like a little baby. And that's essentially it. So walk on over to him. There we go. Now we've collected it. You just leave the music locker. I mean, you could take him out if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave him be. And then just exit the music locker. All right, once you leave the agency, this car is always going to be here shooting at you. So you may as well just take out the guy in this car and then just drive on straight back to your agency. And it is that simple. All right, and there you go. Back to the agency. Mission passed. So we're just going to go in. Or we're going to leave, I should say, and wait for the phone call so we can start up the next part of this Dre mission. There's three parts. You have part one, part two, part three. And within each part there's three missions so you got like nine missions in total okay so back in the agency here you can see high secure high society league sorry let's go ahead and start this one up and you can see country club at the top right top over here it says country club and then it's locked and locked that's the three different missions so each one has three missions all right investigation the country club and we're just going to take our super velito over there we're just going to fly on over and it's free so you just get in it fly on over to the location all right here we are at the country club i don't think you can take these cameras out if i remember i i mean i should know this by now but no whatever we're just gonna run on in where's the little keypad it's a super easy mission don't even worry about it um, okay, so 593. I only ever do the first two. I can see 59. 593 right there at the bottom. I only ever look at the first two. I don't know. It's just the way my brain's wired. Uh, what gun should we use? We use attack SMG, sure. I'll just take them out from right here. Excuse me, sir. Pop your head up again. Do that one more time. Just really quick. Just two seconds. There we go. You with the shotgun. You thought... Okay, there we go. Access security terminal. You betcha. All right, my computer, external drive, brute force. And then you, what's this one spell again? Upstairs. Start. All right, the limo part right now is super easy. You don't even need to uh, trail them. So that's a good tip for you guys. So let's go ahead and get to the limo and I'll show you what I mean. All right, once you get to the location... You're just going to be looking for a limo. It's usually parked right in there. He is. He's parked right there. So we're just going to shoot him before he drives off. Like I said, if you got a rocket launcher, go ahead and use the rocket launcher. Um, but we're just going to shoot him and take him out this way. So if we run... It says tail the limo. We're not tailing the limo. Just take him out. That's all you need to do. See? Easy, peasy, lemon, breezy. All right, once you've got it, just head on back to your agency, which for me is this one right here. So it is very close. Easiest mission I've ever done in my life. All right, so again, if this is your first time doing this, you are going to have to just go outside and wait. It's just Rockstar's little immersive time sink. All right, and there we go. Return to the agency. Just so happens I'm right here because I've been waiting for you the whole time, game. All right, next up, a guest list. Let's get this thing started. Make sure you have some snacks on the way out, as well as getting them from upstairs. You can grab them from right down here at the coffee table. We'll take the Super Velito as well this time. Sure, why not? All right, let's head on over. 
Oh, All right, here we are. Now, to be completely honest with you, I've actually never done it this way around before. I've always gone around the back with, or landed on the roof, actually, and taken them all out that way. But I feel like they've never been that difficult, so I can't imagine I need to necessarily go up onto the roof. I feel like, if anything, it will be quicker to do it this way. So that's what I'm doing for the first time. And it, so far, seems like I would be right that this is, uh, this is pretty easy. All right, is that everyone? Just you, sir. That was pretty easy. Not gonna lie. Then we just gotta stun him. And then pick him up and take him to his car. Easy peasy lemon squeezy once again. Yeah, it was definitely easier doing it this way around, where I just went in guns a blazing instead of landing on the roof, trying to slowly take them all out. You know what I mean? It just shows you that when you overthink things, it makes it more difficult and just last longer. Or you can just do what I did and be in and out of there quickly. All right, and just like that, we are back. Let's move on to our next mission. All right, and once again, as always, since it is our first time doing it, you're just going to want to exit and wait for the phone call. Parkour! Parkour! Oh. Hey, what's up, y'all? They're here. Okay, let's start up the mission. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you. With this one, if you've seen my guides on the uh, Dre missions, if you're newer, definitely go check out some of my actual guides. This is obviously the beginner's guide guide, but then I have also just specifically Dre guides on my channel. If you are a higher level player and you have like a railgun, you have all of these things, this mission is easy. You could shoot the helicopter out of the sky almost immediately. Now, for me, it's not going to be as easy because I don't have any weapons to shoot this guy out of the sky. So this one's going to be interesting for me. I've never done it before when I haven't had either a rocket launcher or a railgun. So if you're a new player and you're like, how do I do it without those things? We're going to find out here together today. But anyway, I'll meet you guys as soon as we get to the mansion. I have never had this happen before in my life. Literally just got here. And we can't even get in the front gate. Maybe it's because my car was damaged or something. I don't bloody know. I've never had that happen before. Ever. Ever doing these missions. It's fine. I mean, it's just sped up the process of me shooting at these guys, I guess. So I'm actually going to try... Don't, don't. Why are you pulling out your phone? Hello? Game? Why are you pulling out a phone when I didn't press phone button? Ah, riddle me that. Where am I going now? You know what? Let's get to the spot I usually go to before we die of absolute idiocracy. All right. So this is where I would go anyway if I was you. Like I say, this isn't the greatest guide since I don't know what has happened and we don't have that many guns. But we're just going to do it the way I would typically do it. Or the way that, you know, the way that God has intended us doing it here today. So you're just going to have a few waves of people essentially here. Uh, but if you're in this location, like I say, that I'm in right here, it's the perfect spot. You can just take people out. It's just, it's great. It's easy. So again, without a rocket launcher or anything, this is uh, kind of interesting. There's a lot of people right here. I know what I have to do. I have to blow up a bunch of these cars and then he'll show himself and leave in his helicopter. We didn't even have to blow up any cars. He's leaving now. We're just going to get a car and chase him. And I've never done it without blowing up his helicopter immediately. Either with a rocket or with a rail gun or something. So doing this this way around is going to be incredibly interesting. So let's just go ahead and steal this car and chase him. Because we have to destroy it. Even though technically we're a low level player. So what are they going to make us do? All right. So we know what we have to do. Okay, can you stop looking at the chopper? I'm genuinely not sure how you're supposed to do this. I mean, technically that did more damage than I thought it was going to do. Okay, private military. Would you just go away? Yeah, shooting this thing with the machine or with the SMG does way more damage than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I just never had to do it this way before. But it's not that bad of an option if you have no other choice. Okay. You need to just die. Like, you are the most annoying vehicle I've ever experienced in my life. Okay. I can't focus on the bloody car because the game just keeps pointing it up at this helicopter. This is the worst mechanic I've ever seen. I can't even see where I'm driving. Even if I press the button to stop it from doing it. <laughs> I've never chased it before, so I've never experienced this. What is happening? All right, there we go. We've taken him out, which is kind of funny because you're basically, whether you shoot him immediately, like I have showed you millions of times in my guide videos, which is the easiest way. But since we're a low level player, we can't do that. Uh, this way wasn't that 
difficult. Like, this way was very simple. I shot it. I took him down with a little SMG, man. All right, now let's head on over to the his body. Excuse me, billionaire. Has that happened to be you? Oh, didn't see you there. I'm sorry. There we go. I collected the phone. Now we just need to get back to the agency. So... I'll see you guys when we get there. So you're going to get chased by the private, you know, security. It doesn't matter. Like, you can outrun them in this car or any of the cars that you choose. So just don't sweat it. Just drive back. Don't try and shoot them. Just drive all the way back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And just like that, that is the final of part two. Now we just have part three to go. $100,000. I will take it. Now, technically, I could afford the agency... Um, Whatchamacallit, the agency bedroom now, but we'll wait. And also, when you complete the finales at the end of each part, it's the only time you don't need to go outside and wait for a phone call. You can just go straight into your office. I definitely need snacks, though, after that one. All right, South Central League, confirm. Let's start this thing up. This is the final selection of missions before we get to the final and we get our big fat payday. Investigation Davis. We'll take our Super Valido again. Makes it just faster. All right. So this this final part enters in the cavalcade, into it, like taking out some of these guys. This is one of the easier out of the three, in my opinion. So at least we've saved the easiest, again, in my opinion, till last. The thing with these three, these final three, it's very self-explanatory. There's not really much for me to teach you or show you. You just kind of have to just go with the flow. So let's get to La Mesa and I'll show you what I mean. All right. So we've got our snacks. No armor because I'm an idiot and I just have never... I keep forgetting armor. Let's go ahead and take these guys out real quick. There's a few different locations this could be in. And I actually don't think I've ever done the one in this location before. Like, I'm being dead serious. Kind of crazy. All right. Now that we've done that, let's just go ahead and take this equipment away. Where's that? I was going to say. I know someone's coming around that corner here in a second. Don't hit these bloody gas canisters. That's it. We're done. Let's escape the loss. You don't really need to escape. Let's just head back towards our agency and it should be uh, done and dusted. All right. And just like that, dropped off at the safe house. Um, very simple, straightforward mission. Uh, all you need to do is just get in there, take out a few people, steal the thing and drop it back off. That's it. All right. There's the phone call that we had to wait for because, again, we have to wait for the phone calls the first time around except for the finale ones. But anyway, let's get in and start this next one up. Investigation at the Ballers. Taking the Super Valido again one more time just makes my life a little bit easier, a little bit faster. You know what I mean? Even though for this one, we're literally getting in the car that is right next to our, uh, our bit. Okay, this, listen, game. I see the car. You don't need to make my bloody camera angle go mental. All right, let's get on over there. So for this mission, the only thing I would say is if you have a rail gun once again, uh, it'll make your life a million times easier. But since we don't have a rail gun, we're literally just going to have to fight fight our way around here, which I, again, never really done before, because usually I'm going crazy. Usually I'm going crazy with a rail gun and with, uh... <laughs> oh, God, I'm almost dead. Didn't even notice that. You know what? We'll just take out these guys. These are usually the ones that I'm fighting, but, again, usually with a rail gun. Oh, we're gonna die. Knew that was coming, didn't we? I'm just, like, like, now realizing I really just don't have any good guns as of right now. I mean, I have my my SMG, which you guys know I absolutely love. Um, but that's it. That's, like, all I have. A railgun is definitely in my future, though. A railgun is definitely in my future. All right, will you just hurry up and be done with? We just got to wait for the police to come, essentially. There's, it's not about, like, how many of these people you kill. You just got to wait for the police to start showing up and then all of us run. And like everyone runs away. So just start mowing these people down and then I'll come back to you guys in a second. All right, there we go. Follow Vernon. I will do with pleasure. Let's actually go back to this one. All right. Where's he running off to now? I feel like I, I feel like there's everything on this one's been different. I feel like I've never seen him run up this way either. He usually goes the other way. But anyway, at this point, you're just going to follow him until he gets to like a, a back alley garage which I'll fast forward to because there's no point in me showing you me just running down the street. All right, it's going to be this garage right here. So come on, Vernon, take your time. Let's go. All right, now you're just going to wait for him to interrogate him and then we're just going to leave and leave the area. And that's like, mission two done. Another easy one. It's just a little bit of a time sink. You got to wait for the police to show up. All right. And just like that, like I say, all you have to do now is leave the area. And now let's head on back to our agency and start off the final of these three before we do the finale. All right, next mission, ladies and gentlemen, the finale of this three one. 
Uh, let's go ahead. Purchase all ammo. Purchase. Continue. South Central leak. Let's get this thing started. Actually, a pretty easy mission. Like, I know I've been saying that for all of them, and none of them are really that difficult. But as far as, like, finales are concerned, this one's actually one of the easier ones. All right, so at this point, we're just going to head on over to the Davis Mega Mall. I'll meet you guys when we get there. All right, we've met up at the mall. Now we just got to drive super slow behind these guys until we get to the location. All right, we're here at the location. And just like the last one, we're just going to have a shootout, right? Until that yellow car we're going to end up chasing. And it's got copyright music, so I'll see you guys in a minute when we get to the yellow car. All right, here we go. Now we just got to chase this guy down, which is actually, if I remember rightly, very easy to do. All right, here we go. And there we go. Just like that. Done. This bloody music still going, though. So let me get in this car and I'll meet you guys back in a sec as this music turns off. All right. Music is off. Excuse me, gentlemen. Don't mind me coming through. Now we just got to take this to the agency. Like I say, again, I have said all of them are easy, but they all are fairly easy. I guess it's one of those things where it's easy when you know how. This is, I have done this a lot of times. Um, but obviously, I'm proving as a, as a new low-level player. I'm level 38 now. Um, but the weapons that we've been using, there's nothing great. You know, we haven't had any really, any explosives we've been using. We haven't really been using any decent, uh, assault weapons or anything like that. So if I could do it, you guys can do it. But anyway, let's get back to the agency and start up the finale. There we go. Another hundred grand. So it's like, what, like 1.5 million in total for doing the Dre missions. It's not bad. All right. We got some more cutscenes to go through. So let's fast forward through this. All right, so for this next one, we have to come into our office and go to the F. We don't go to our actual office in the agency, to our computer. We go to the F. So let's go ahead and do this one. And this is one of my least favorite. It's just, there's way too many cutscenes. <laughs> it's brutal. I'm sure a lot of you who know what I'm talking about will agree. But anyway, let's do it. So at this point, we've got to return his vehicle to the studio and we're going to get a phone call letting us know that he's in trouble. So let's get to that part. There you go. As you guys can hear, there's a big gunfight going on. So uh, let's just go ahead and take out these guys real quick. Oh, no, you don't. All right. So at this point, again, just like all of them, you're just going to have a big shootout with a few people. So let's just speed it up until we get this part done and dusted. I would just make sure you stay somewhere that you've got a little bit of cover. Like where I'm at right now is actually a pretty decent spot. You could probably just get in this armored vehicle in front of us and just start taking everyone out that way as well. I've never done it, but it's probably a possibility. All right, once you've taken them all out, you're just going to go ahead and head on into the studio. Now at this point, it's the same thing again. You're literally just going to make your way all the way through and you're going to have to come back on yourself here eventually because people are going to spawn um, a little further down. Like, what I mean is once you get all the way through, people are going to spawn back down here again. So, you're going to have to run back. So, let's just make our way through all of these guys. Excuse me. Didn't see him there. All right. Like I say, you're going to make your way... Oh. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, I don't have any more lives left, but it's fine. Uh, I was going to say, you're going to have to make your way back anyway. So, we're just going to... Let's... It's just a constant like respawn of people you know what i mean which is nothing new for gta in all honesty just gotta take my time a little bit now since we don't have any lives so at this point you're like oh we've made it nope you gotta go all the way back out because for some reason like one person spawns right at the beginning again once you've made it all the way through it's kind of weird but it is what it is so there we go now we can go to the control room all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the longest, most insufferable cutscene of your life. <laughs> if it's your first time doing it, watch it, enjoy it. But for, you can never skip it. Even if you complete this a million times, you never let you skip this. So let's skip ahead from this part, though. I'll see you guys in about three hours when this cutscene's done. Oh, my days. That felt like torture. That felt like torture. How long was that cutscene, man? I literally got up, went to the bathroom, got myself a drink, came back, and it was still only halfway through. All right, guys, here we are. The finale of the Dre missions, finally. Let's go ahead, start this thing up, and finally get our money. I'll tell you one thing. As a new player doing it for the first time, I mean, it'll go by fast for you if you've never done it before. But as somebody who's done it a million times to then come back and start it from the beginning as on a new account, 
It is brutal. This Dre missions from start to finish usually take like an hour and a half on average, I'd say. I feel like this is taking like three hours. This has been brutal. But um, they're fun missions. But doing it the first time is rough. Anyway, let's get to the location. All right. So as far as our first location here, uh, or the first part of this finale, you're just going to jump inside of one of the train things right here and then just take out a few people. It shouldn't take too... Oh, we're already in it. Uh, it shouldn't take us too long, to be completely honest with you. Just make sure you get the guys that are up on the roof. I don't see them yet, but there is going to be some guys that show up on the roof. Just make sure you take them out because they get a good angle on you. All right, there's one. You see him up on the roof there? Just make sure you get those guys because out of everyone, most of these people that are coming for you, they're not going to... Oh, there's another one. They're not going to really get you. Uh, but the guys on the roof, they'll get a good, decent angle. All right, once you've taken them all out, you're just going to head on over to the Los Santos International Airport. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are at the airstrip. Let's go ahead and jump inside. I love it. Can I just say, like, I'm just thinking this. This is the finale right here. Like, great job, Rockstar. Great job, like, creating such a, a great... Oh, let's reload. Why don't we want someone right here? Uh, just a great collaboration. Like, it's such a great, like, story. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, it is very immersive. It's a, it's a good one. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the Dre contract, for sure. If you haven't done it and you're newer, you've got something to look forward to. It's actually really cool. But anyway, let's take out some of these guys here. Again, I've said it all the way through, but it truly isn't that a difficult of a heist. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Obviously, it would be a lot easier if, you know, if you do it, if you come prepared, if you bring like the right weapons, the right tools, the right all of that stuff. And by that, I mean the rail gun, the rocket launcher. A lot of explosive things would probably make your life a little bit easier. Not during this mission. Well, maybe actually. But more so during like the, uh, some of the other missions. I hate that it's pulling out my phone when I don't know if that's a PlayStation thing. I've never really noticed it on a pc before but like i'll try and reload my weapon to go into my weapon wheel and press up and it kept pulling my phone out i don't know probably a me issue though oh we died i wasn't paying any attention to my health like we don't have armor either so i mean not that i've had armor at all during this entire thing use this little gun i feel like the accuracy on this little piece shoot is a little bit better oh no we're gonna die again let's not do that you know what? i'm just gonna run at these guys they're hiding behind a bloody box i can't get an angle on them is that it is that both of you jeez man all right, we know where he is. We know he's up top here. So what we're going to do so we don't get hit by a shotgun or whatever he's using is just shoot him from right here. There we go. Don't want to kill him. Don't know what I'm stuck on or what I've just jumped on. But okay, fair enough. All right, now here we are. Let's pick him up and take him outside and let Dre deal with him. Yeah, I think Dre wants to have a little word with you, my friend. Oh, no. Ay, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. All right, let's fast forward until we get past this bar and we got to drive him to his uh, helicopter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost coming to an end on our, uh, on our Dre mission here. All we need to do is take him to the country club and it'll be done. But like I was saying, if you are newer to the game... Um, it's a lot of fun. Definitely try this one out. The story is actually a lot of fun. I know I complained a lot in this video about how everything was just taking so long and stuff like that. It's just because it's the first time doing it and I've done it a million times. So it's I've just kind of been patient. Uh, but as a first time player, or as a first time person doing, you know, this Dre mission, you do want to listen to all the cutscenes and actually really enjoy it. But anyway, let's speed this up until we get there. And uh, let's see that big fat payday. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the country club. He's going to walk off into the sunset. That helicopter, by the way, is drop dead gorgeous. Can we all agree on that? And there we have it. Mission passed, ladies and gentlemen. One million with all of the setups and everything. Though I think it was like, what, 1.5 million? Um... So we needed that, especially after spending all of our money on the agency here today. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If we look at our bike, bike, bike. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you look at our bank right there, we're almost back to 2 million. So we spent 2 million on the business, put some time into it, and we got that 2 million back. So we made almost 2 million just in this video. Don't know how. Or just doing the Dre thing, I mean. So it's crazy. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what is next? We've got basically every business in the game that I want. From here on out, it would be obviously the auto shop is a business that I just kind of want. The nightclub is another business I would want. The arcade. 
But these are things that you don't necessarily need at this point. I mean, the nightclubs, it is a good business for passive money, but you also are going to need the MC businesses. And like I said in this video or this series of a beginner's guide, not planning on getting the MC business for this one until, you know, you get like the 50 million and then you just have money to buy everything. But what's next for this series? This is episode number nine. We have one episode left. Well, we need to put all of this stuff to the test. Just using all of the businesses that we have so far, we're going to see how easy it is to get to that juicy $50 million mark. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always with a brand new video. Bye.